There is Mark Maxayo himself. Mark, how are you, my man? How are you, Sir Ray? How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm doing terrific. Mark, give us your thoughts. You're fighting on the undercard of a Manny Pacquiao pay-per-view. You are of Filipino descent. Uh, what does this mean for you uh, fighting next Saturday night on the undercard of Manny Pacquiao's fight against now your Dennis Ugas? I'm so blessed that I am the one of undercard of Manny Pacquiao. And I'm uh, thankful of uh, Sir Sean Gibbons for making this fight happen. And I'm so, it's a dream come true to fight uh, in undercard. And it's in a first time for me to fight in pay-per-view. It's your first time fighting on pay-per-view. So what, what's that like? I mean, I saw you last week at the Wild Card Boxing Gym, but how amped up are you to be fighting on such a big stage like this in Las Vegas? Um, I'm so blessed that I'm the one of undercard. And uh, it's a dream come true to me to fight uh, uh, with a legend, a senator. It uh, it's means a lot to me. So, Mark, let's go back and let's talk about your last performance against Rico Berto Hermosillo. That was your first fight with Freddie Roach as your lead trainer. What did you learn in that fight against Rigoberto Hermosillo? Um, about that fight, uh, Hermosillo is a tough fighter and he's a two weeks replacement to me. So it's, uh, it's, maybe it's a ring rust a little bit. And um, I'm still adjusting that time with the coach Freddie Roach and um, our team. So uh, the, maybe it's a, a little more uh, training with coach Freddie, it's better. So what is it like now that you've had an extended period of time working with Freddie and working with Marvin Simodio as well, that entire team at the Wild Card Boxing Gym? How much has that benefited you? Uh, it's uh, a lot of benefit to me because um, I'm so happy that because uh, um, Freddie uh, teach me a lot of things, uh, a lot of uh, about boxing. So I'm so honored that um, he's the one, uh, he's my uh, trainer. What, is, what have you learned specifically with Freddie uh, since your last fight against Hermosillo? Um, that fight, um, we changed our, uh, we, we changed our um, for the next fight, we changed, uh, we changed the footwork and uh, they changed my, they correct my uh, wild punch. Then all my punches now is uh, more accurate. Okay, so he wants you just letting your hands go more and, and, and you know, selecting your spots instead of being overly aggressive. Yeah, very good. So uh, he teaches me uh, how to patient uh, for, for the fight. So I'll be good in uh, for the next fight. It, so, I mean, I'm sure that it's been an adjustment period because you're used to wiping out your opponents and Freddie now is telling you, you know, have a little patience uh -huh. and get, is it, you know, stay busy with the jab and then your power will come after that? Yeah, he said to me that uh, the... Uh, speed is uh, make you power, so uh, it's better to have have speed and timing and the jab. So instead of sort of telegraphing your power shots, yeah. start off with the jab and use your speed, and then the power will come. Because before, yeah, because before I'm a wild wild, wild puncher, so I, when I when I saw my opponent get groggy, I go bah, 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 wild and wild. So now he, he correct my mistake and just focus the uh, patient, then focus the jab, then the knockout will come. So now you have more of an emphasis when someone hits you instead of you yeah. going toe to toe, you're like, okay, let me use my defense. Yeah. Let me use my jab and be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what we do now. What has the mood been like at the wild card boxing gym as Manny Pacquiao gets ready for his return to the ring on August 21 on Fox sports, PBC pay-per-view. I'm sure you get inspired, but what's the mood like working with Manny and, and seeing how Manny's been training for this fight? Um, I feel like, um, uh, I feel like, um, uh, let's, what do you call this? Star Trek, uh, Star Trek. Star Trek? Yeah, when I, when, when I saw him first time in the gym training, I, I, just look, I do like that. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy I can, I can explain myself that time when I saw my first time training here in the wild card. Ever since he's, ever since uh, he's my idol since 2005. So start talk to him when I watch and, and feel blessed to watch his training. Mark, what was the process like of when you got signed to MP Promotions, Manny Pacquiao's promotional company? How did that happen? Can you tell us about what the process was like? Um, uh, it's all about uh, we. We talk about uh, Sir Sean Gibbons. She, uh, him and my wife uh, coordinate the contract, um, prepare the contract so that uh, 
um, I'm gonna sign in, sign here in uh, all my fight are are here in the uh, United States. When Manny Pacquiao says he sees some of himself in you, how does that make you feel? Um, I feel happy because uh, he said to that for me. He said uh, for me for that for uh, he look uh, when he was uh, young like me. Yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel happy that time. That what, that what she said to me. Do you feel a a good? You know, there's there are levels of pressure in this sport, but do you feel a good level of pressure knowing that you are one of the guys that are at the forefront of Manny Pacquiao's promotional company and that he's investing in you and and he believes that you can be a world champion? Mm-hmm. Um, there's a little bit of pressure, but um, I'm I'm gonna handle this. And I, because I want to be like him, I want to be a world champion. So I'm gonna do my best to win the fight. What's the biggest thing you take away from being around Manny, seeing how he trains, seeing his work ethic? What is the thing that you take away and say, I'm gonna use that into how I prepare for fights? Yeah, I, I, when I saw him in the training every every day, I go, I'm gonna do that. That's the footwork. And the speed, that's in my mind when I watch when I watching him uh, training in here in Wildcard Gym. Have they told you about what you can expect in Las Vegas when it comes to dealing with the media and and being around you know that kind of atmosphere in Las Vegas? Because you know you fought in various places all over the world, but now you're going to be fighting at T-Mobile Arena. It'll be a jam-packed house. Uh, obviously, a lot of eyes and ears you know, focused in on the event next Saturday night, August 21 on Fox Sports BBC pay-per-view. But have they told you about what you can expect next week? Um, uh, We just uh, does not talk too much because he's busy and uh, there's a lot of media here uh, ca- coming for him. So we not talk that too much. Is it good? Uh, how much of a brotherhood do you all feel in the gym? Because I was there last Wednesday for Manny's Media Day and I felt like you guys are all a very close, I, I sense a family atmosphere. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, Senator Manny is a very humble guy. And the uh, other fighter here is a, is a good fighter. And uh, they're all, uh, they're, we're all like brothers here, like I uh, respect each other. Yeah. Let's talk about your opponent, Julio Seja, who has been in his fair share of, of fun fights. Obviously, Hugo Ruiz, his fight with Hugo Ruiz uh, stands out. He was given a, a very good account of himself against Guillermo Rigondeaux before he got dropped. Uh, what do you know about your opponent in Julio Seja? Um, Julio Seja is a tough fighter. He's an aggressive fighter. Uh, he's um, a brawler fighter. So I'm going to do my best to win this fight. So this is my stepping stone to be uh, become a world champion. Now, have they told you, is this an eliminator fight? Or this is obviously, I know you're ranked in the top five in three of the four sanctioning bodies. So if you're successful next Saturday, August 21st, are you in line for a title shot after this? Yeah, because um, uh, Shoshan Gibbon said to me that uh, I'm going to fight in a WBC eliminator world champion and, and um, WBO international federal champion. So if, if, if I'm going to win this, uh, this coming uh, Saturday, maybe he put me in the... WBC World Title. Okay, now the WBC featherweight champion in the world happens to be Gary Russell Jr. So yeah. I know you don't want to look ahead, but what is your mindset about a potential fight with Gary Russell Jr. looming ahead if you are successful next week against Julio Seja? Uh, give me your thoughts on that. Um, yeah, it's my dream for to fight a world title. Uh, and um, that's my dream for a fight with uh, Gary Russell, uh, Lysenta Cruz. Um, the other champion in the my 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 weight like a uh, uh, Nabarete, so that's my uh, dream f- to fight with him get, with these guys with, with our fighter guys. Well, it's interesting bringing up Leo Santa Cruz. It's actually Leo's birthday, so happy birthday yeah, to happy. Leo Santa Cruz. Mark, you are very uh, you know respectful to your opponent. So where does that come from? Because I don't really see much trash talking from you. You're always very much like Manny. Uh, Manny doesn't do 
trash talking either. You're all very humble guys. You're excited, but you just love to fight. Uh, can you tell us about the origins of that? Um, just sports, just sports. Because uh, um, I'm going to follow the footsteps of uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao. He's been idol since, he's my idol since I was a kid. So I know his style. I know he's a, he's a humble guy. So I'm going to follow his style. And this is my, this is me. So uh, I, no more just talk like that. It's, it's only sports. What can fans, for those who have never seen you fight, um, and they watch you for the first time next Saturday against Julio Seham, what can they expect? Um, they, they expect that it's going to be a good fight, a hell of a fight. And uh, I'm so excited for this coming Saturday. So you better watch the fight of Mark McSion and Julio Seham. This is going to be a bro fight. Have you fought against a Mexican in your last fight against Rico Berto Hermosillo? Now you're fighting against another Mexican fighter in uh, Julio Ceja. Is there a little bit of, uh, you know, in your mindset, the fact that the Philippines and Mexico, Classic. we've seen some terrific matchups over the course of the past 15 to 20 years with your promoter, Manny Pacquiao, being involved in many of them? Mexican versus Mexican versus Filipino, it's a rival since 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 Pacquiao time. Uh, it's like a classic war. Philippines versus Mexico. It was good. Now I I know that Manny is obviously the the biggest name, but even going back to the days of Jerry Pinalosa, Rodel Mayol, uh, Ray Boom Boom Bautista, did you follow those guys kind of coming up through the amateur system in the Philippines? I'm more been uh, watching. Uh, I'm, I've been watching these guys since I was a kid. So I, I told myself, I want to be like them soon. I'm gonna fight them in Las Vegas soon. And now it's a, it's already happened. So I'm gonna. Be, this is a big break for big break for me. I also read Mark in the preparation for this interview that you are working with a dietitian now. Is that true? Yes, because uh, before I have no dietitian. Now I have a um, uh, nutritionist. Uh, his, her name is uh, Janet Aro. She's good. She's uh, sending me a lot of things uh, for how to diet, and my wife cooked for me. So it's good. So how has your diet been altered in preparation for this fight against Julio Seja? It's very good. Uh, my weight now is like eight pounds over, uh, eight, eight pounds, nine pounds. So it's a. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's easy to get a uh, weight with uh, if you have a nutritionist. Unlike before, I uh, just I, I I do and on my own. So it's hard. It's hard to make that make weight. So now it's easy. What are you eating specifically, or what? How has your diet changed from your last fight against Rico Berto Hermosillo, and now leading into the fight against Julio Ceja next Saturday? Um, that that's why we are Roberto Ergo, Ergo Hermosillo. Um, um, I'm the only one who who make the food. The no no dietitian. So now I have a dietitian. So this is a big difference. If you have so they a, make the food for you. Uh, my my wife make make my food, and then um, the dietitian will send uh, the food, um, the recipes. So what, what are you eating specifically? Like, tell us, like, when you wake up, give, give me a full day of Mark Maxayo eating from the time you wake up till the time you go to bed. What do you eat? Uh, in the morning, I just give me, she's, uh, Francis give me, uh, my wife give me a, a, a banana and um, it's like an um, oatmeal and egg and rice a little bit. And then the lunch, I have a soup with a, with a chicken and then um, brown rice. Yeah. Okay, and then for dinner, what, what do you typically eat? I mean, fish or, you know, steak, uh, chicken? We don't eat um, uh, hard eat in the night because uh, it's, it's only when you sleep. So, so France, my wife uh, cooked me a fish or a shrimp. Okay, and do you feel that much better in the gym? I mean, is your body really responding to it better? Because, uh, because like, unlike today, like two weeks before the fight, if, uh, two weeks before the fight, before I, be, uh, I don't have a dietitian, I'm no eating, just water and a little bit eat and no rice. And before and now, I'm eat uh, rice and uh, still eating and still hard working. I'm still strong. So better that uh, we have a dietitian.
Yeah, so you seem a lot happier in training because I yeah. saw you last week and you were smiling. And I mean, you have an eight pack for crying out loud. I'm like, <laughs> man, oh man, this guy's ready to go now. Yeah, I'm so excited for this coming fight. So ready. And, and in your mindset, in a perfect world for Mark Moxayo, how does the fight end next Saturday against Julio Ceja? Um, uh, if I have a, a opportunity to knock him down, so I'm going to do my best to knock him down. But, but my aim is I want to 12 rounds, so that's, uh, that's our target, one to 12 rounds. What do you want to tell the rest of the featherweight division as you climb up the ranks and try to solidify your status as being the number one contender? Oh, what was that again? What do you want to tell the rest of the featherweight champions out there as you try to solidify your status as the number one contender in the division? Um, if I'm going to win this fight, I'm uh, going to uh, challenge this guy's uh, champion of the WBO, WBC, and IBF. The new IBF now is uh, Galahad. So um, I challenge him. And um, uh, the WBA and uh, the new guy in the WBA and uh, the WBC guy Russell, I'm going to challenge this, this, this guy's. So your nickname is Mark Magnifico Maxayo. Where does that nickname of Magnifico come from? Uh, that's uh, Magnifico, uh, my last promoter before. So the, he gave me that, he gave me that uh, ring name. You watched, obviously, previous Manny Pacquiao fights in the Philippines. Can you tell us about uh, how enormous an event when Manny fights is over there in the Philippines, the fact that everyone watches? I mean, I, I've heard many reports that crime stops, the entire country stops yeah. when Senator Pacquiao is fighting. Yeah, when he fights, there's no crime. There's a lot. There's a they're staying at home and watch, uh, watch the fight of Senator Manny Pacquiao. That's uh, how, how he legend there in the Philippines. He's a living legend now. So everybody watching, watching, watching what, what he's doing, or how he, what, when he's going to next fight. So it's all, it's all, it's all about, about that. And what's the response been from the Philippines towards you? The fact that you fought on national television here in the United States last October. You're fighting on pay-per-view next Saturday. So what have the fans and, and your family back home been telling, you know, the response? I'm sure you're getting a very good response back home in the Philippines. Um, they're so happy and they're so excited with my coming fight because it's on our pay-per-view. And I'm so happy, too, that uh, uh, they support me for my coming fight. So I'm going to do my best. To make them uh, laugh, to make them happy, and to make to make the Filipino proud. One thing I want to know is that with, with with Manny and with you, when you walk to the ring, you have a smile on your face. Uh, there is an energy. Typically, guys are you know you see guys they're very stoic, they're very serious, but not you or Manny. Why is that so? Yeah, uh, just smiling, just just appreciate the people. Just uh, I'm so happy that uh, if I'm, I'm gonna do into into Rod's ring. Just so the people are watching, oh, I'm going to do my best to win this fight, to make people proud. How glad are you that you're going to be fighting in front of fans? Your last fight was in Los Angeles. It was a, a close. There were no fans in attendance because of COVID-19 and the pandemic. But how glad are you that you're now going to be fighting at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas with fans in attendance? Um, the, the fight in the, here in L.A. with uh, Hermosillo. Um, when when I hit the opponent, it's like no one shouting, no one shouting. I feel I feel like oh this this fight is like a sparring, <laughs> <laughs> like a sparring. No no crowd. When you hit the opponent, we could knock down the opponent. No no one no one's shouting. So I feel like uh, maybe I, I'm gonna adjust and to I need to adapt for the situation. So I'm the, I adapt the uh, situation and the next fight in the Connecticut. I fight in the Connecticut. I want to fight by knockout. And only I heard is my wife shouting, "Woo!" I do like that. Only, <laughs> only, only she, she was the only one who shout for that time. So maybe this uh, in a, in a next fight in August twenty first. I, I expected that there's a lot of Filipinos, a lot of Mexicans, a lot of American. There's a lot of people watching this fight. So I'm expecting that uh, there's a uh, a lot of crowd. So no, it's better that there's there's a crowd than uh, there's nothing. Yes, yeah, so you're glad to have fans back. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, there's a fan uh, watching back. 
And finally, Mark, what do you want to tell the fight fans around the world as you get set for your matchup against Julio Ceja next Saturday, August 21st, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, the undercard of Manny Pacquiao, your Dennis Ugas on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view. Mark, what do you want to tell the fans? Um, uh, to, to all my fans in the Philippines, the Filipino fans, uh, please support our fight this coming August 21st. Yes, uh, got a good, is it, this is a good fight, a historic fight with uh, Senator versus Ugas. It's a, it's a big fight. It's a big card. And uh, please support and pray for us. I'm so blessed that I'm, I'm the one in uh, undercard in the pay-per-view. Mark, all the best of luck. We'll see you next week during Fight Week in Las Vegas. Thank you, sir. Ray. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.